live from my own kitchen in Oakland, California. It's the Kitchen Poetry Series Poetry Series Kitchen featuring the poet Gary Turchin. That's me, the poet laureate of his own kitchen. That's my kitchen you're looking at right there. It's a piece of work just as he says it is and just as he himself is a piece of work indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let me introduce to you the poet laureate of his own kitchen, the poet laureate of his own life, the poet laureate of his own laureate. Put your hands and feet together for me, Gary Turchin. Hi, I'm Gary Turchin. This is my kitchen. I am the poet laureate of my kitchen. And this is the beginning of my Poetry in My Kitchen series of poems. I'm going to share with you some of my all-time favorite poems. We're going to start tonight with one of my favorites. It's called The Dream. Have you ever had a dream? Well, I'd like to share with you mine tonight. This is my dream. I dreamt that I was dreaming, that I was being dreamed. I woke and found myself asleep. At least that's how it seemed. I couldn't tell the day from night or up from down or more. I couldn't tell if I was real or just some metaphor. Was I what I thought I was, or was I what I thought? Or were my thoughts a web in which my dreaming mind was caught? Back and forth, back and forth, this argument persisted. Mirror, mirror on the wall of what is real consisted. Is it always spatial? Does time function as a force, and is outside of both, inside some mystic kind of source? All this puzzling and perplexing left me puzzled and perturbed. My subjects were now objects. My nouns were being verbed. I'll pinch myself. That's what I'll do. Prick myself to see if what I am perceiving is illusion or is me. And so I pinched and pinched again with naught but truth to gain. And there through my deluded state I felt the piercing pain. Ow! I'm real. I must be stuffed. The pain is here to tell. Unless, of course, it's possible to dream the pain as well. I am mad. I must be mad. I cannot pierce this veil. And all my pharmaceuticals have gone to no avail. But one more pinch, I promise. Once more, hard and true, I gathered crimped and screamed, enough, and woke up black and blue. Yes, I dreamt that I was dreaming, that I was being dreamed. I woke and found myself awake. At least that's how it seemed. At least that's how it seemed. That's the dream. This is my kitchen. I am Gary Turchin. This, the poet laureate of my kitchen. And this has been my kitchen poetry series number one. I hope you'll come back and join me for the next poetry in the kitchen series. Have a pleasant enough day and life, and I'll see you in the kitchen! Yay!